On the outside, I had the perfect life. I mean, no one would have suspected anything was wrong. I had the perfect job, the expensive car, property investments, great girlfriend, great family, good upbringing. Everything was fine, but yet nothing was at the same time. For longer than I can remember, I've suffered from some of the most severe and debilitating mental health problems even since I was a child. Chronic anxiety, intense depression, obsessive compulsive thinking, perfectionist attitudes, panic attacks that will hit me out of nowhere, day in and day out. I've cried myself to sleep for, for weeks on end. The rumination and the constant wondering what is wrong with me. Things got so intense that I really considered whether being alive was a sustainable or I would say realistic endeavor for me. I remember being on my knees, you know, looking up at the sky in tears, shaking, thinking to myself, um, this is not gonna end well. So many people go day to day trying to put on this brave face, but on the inside, they're crumbling. We think about mental health as, you know, you're suffering, you're weak, you're vulnerable. You show that expression or that emotion, and you know, you're typecast. They're not the victims, they're not the weak. They're the strong and the, and the courageous. Even the people who don't let us in, who put their thorns out, they're probably the people who need our help the most, but yet they're the hardest to help. When you're really in the depths of, of pain and suffering, quicker than you know, you're spiraling out of control. And you look back and, and you just think, how am I getting out of here? It's in those moments that you can no longer hold yourself afloat, that you have to allow people to come in and take you to shore. Even in times where you become so low that you selfishly go, I don't care about anything. I just need to feel better. I cannot keep going. I'm not talking about this now publicly because I want sympathy. If anything, I've spent my entire life trying to hide this from people. That has to change. Even if it means shattering the reputation that we think that we have or that we may lose. It's time that I and we as a generation stand up and let people say, I am broken and that's okay. We're told that it's okay to talk but very few people are actually sharing their story. Let's break down the final wall by wearing our heart on our sleeve. Draw a heart on your forearm and upload a picture to social media with a caption explaining how mental health has affected you or someone close and how you've grown and what you've learned from the experience. Find the courage to have a voice about what you're feeling. I know how exhausting it can be. We're in this together.